You've got a, a Liberal Party background, Christy, and of course we remember well when the late great Jim Molan was one of the campaigners for mm -hmm. democracy in the New South Wales Liberal Party, mm -hmm. that members would actually get a say on who the pre-selected candidates were to represent them. Well, we had the situation overnight, winning only by one vote. Mm -hmm. Jackie Munro mm -hmm. has been installed by head office, mm -hmm. not by the grassroots party members. Mm -hmm. She's a left-wing Matt Keane type. Mm -hmm. uh, she was cheering back with Ro Rob Oakeshott and Tony Windsor when they went with Gillard over mm -hmm. Tony Abbott mm -hmm. uh, in that election in 2010. But she's now been put into the position and Liberals in New South Wales that I've spoken to are pretty angry mm. they haven't had their say. As they should be. And the New South Wales Liberal Division Head Office will use the excuse, we're about to go into an election being called. Caretaker starts on the 3rd of March for mm -hmm. New South Wales. But they're forgetting within using that narrative of overriding the branches for this pre-selection that this is an upper house position. The candidate doesn't need to get out there on the ground and campaign. That is an absolute falsehood of a narrative that vested moderate interests mm. are using to voice someone who worked for Karen Phelps, who's a known opponent of Liberal Party policy, uh, onto the people of the New South Wales Liberal Party. I think it's wrong and I think there's more than enough time between now and when the caretaker period begins for a rank and file branch pre-selection to fill that position, as you say, in the interest of democracy mm. and integrity of what the Liberal Party stands for.